Now that we've already talked about discrete probability distributions, I can start talking about probability histograms. Remember that a probability distribution displays the probabilities associated with all possible outcomes. So like this would be a probability distribution for the roll of a single die. You have the six possible outcomes from one to six, and the probabilities associated with each of those outcomes, which is about 16 or 17 percent for each outcome. Now we could use this to create something called a probability histogram. A probability histogram is a histogram with possible values on the x-axis and probabilities on the y-axis. So I'm going to create a probability distribution right here. I'm just going to make up some x's. I'm going to call them 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm going to make up some probabilities to be associated with those. 10%, 15%, 35%, and 40%. Notice that all of the probabilities still add up to 1. They add up to 100%. It has to in order for this to be a complete probability distribution. So what we can do is organize this into a histogram. On the bottom, I have the events 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on the y-axis, I have the probabilities that are associated with those events. Notice that the bars are touching because this is a histogram, not a bar graph. And that is a probability histogram using a discrete probability distribution.